So this is a, we still got two more weeks to including this one, right? To go would be twelve weeks and uh, and uh, okay. Before we move on, I got uh, instructions from the university and. Uh, Today is the control. Okay, we would be do the um, uh, force control, finish the adaptive control, and then move on to the force control. Okay, but I received an email. It said uh, every semester, I think every year, every semester we receive this. The university do send us reminder to see you guys. Okay, actually for student feedback, the whole purpose is. Uh, to because of the to do integrity teaching to make our teaching better, okay, and uh, even give us slides, ask me to better do this uh, uh, in the class. Even we have these instructions, okay, and probably your your voice matters, okay. To me, I use the student feedback to see how anywhere I can improve. Which part I do better? Which part I should improve? Okay, and uh, then uh, I think you'd better click the blue NS edu dot sg blue. Okay, and then for yeah, uh, let me see. yeah, for your feedback, be constructive. Okay, and uh, be specific. Uh, comment on your learning experience. Increase the value of your feedback. Be specific, provide examples of how you think uh, the teacher or the way the module have organized have helped you. And be considerate, you know, improper language or personal comments are highly inappropriate that uh, undermine your feedback. This one is uh, the university, uh, everybody is excellent in video, okay? Your feedback counts. Your constructive feedback helps professors to improve their modules and the one source of evidence for university appraisal decision. And also it's confidential. Your professor will never know your name. They will only get an aggregated report. And it's quick, complete your module feedback on campus, home or on the go. It's easy to use, mobile, compatible, okay? Yeah, I start to use my mobile to do a lot of stuff, it's from move, moving, and that's, okay. You guys can provide your feedback while you're on the move. I think it looks like you can scan this, right? You can do your feedback. Uh, I got the instruction, you do it now. <laughs> <laughs> if you may, <laughs> I may, I may ask you, okay? <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> because the instructor said, you'd better do it, <laughs> let you know before the class. That's why I did not send you email, okay? I, I know the knowledge explosion, email explosion. I try to minimize my email to you, okay? Only the urgent thing, important thing, I bother you through email. Otherwise, reduce your email, bombardment of email, okay? And just don't probably you check with uh, the uh, six students for the 5064. Hello, the student from E5064, are you here? Yeah, you are here. And I need to get see your uh, attendance, okay? Yeah. I need to participate. You make sure you do that because I don't see you do it. No, 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 I will record it. Ah, oh, I see. And then... I tried, but this time the site cannot be reached. Really? Then, then you do the other one. You blue, you do blue, blue. I, I saw it, so one blue, blue, the other one is ES blue, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, now this I also get better. If one don't work, I try the other one, okay? 
because of the email explosion, I tried to condense everything we fin I finished on in the class, okay? And then for the, um, uh, for the E5064 student, I don't, uh, because you are the guest of uh, this main module, I don't, that's why I don't send the announcement to your group specifically. Do you follow me? So I really try to reduce the email communication. For the student in five zero six four, you only six. You know, if anyone don't uh, respond, you know the percentage drop dramatically. Okay. <laughs> For the large class, if one or two don't respond, it's that it's not that big. Okay. For six, uh, the, <laughs> okay. that's why I mentioned five zero six four. Okay. For large class, you know, it doesn't matter. And I also know that for the five series six, you are some of you are working, and then for the one hour exam, you don't need to attend. Okay, you I only CA. And then I hope you do a good CA. Okay. I see some of you already finished, right? And then I can talk uh, the light stuff. Yeah. I... Hello. Yeah, light. Hello, you just, you can see that we are doing the student feedback, okay? And then you can either scan or tap. And then why I would not wait for you, you, okay? When most of them finish, I will continue my lecture. You do it while you are on the go, on the go okay? Yeah, you can scan. It looks like uh, most of us finished already, right? Yeah, okay. Thank you all. For those you did not quite finish, you can do it periodically, okay? You know the link periodically. We also have the break period, okay? And then you can type more information. I think I saved, you can type, okay? And then as uh, I sh earlier shared, be constructive, be specific, be considerate, and also your voice, your feedback counts. It's confidential, it's quick. Complete your mobile module feedback on campus, at home, or on the go. It's easy to use uh, the mobile compatible, okay? Okay, then. And you see that I got the feedback area, the uh, instruction from the uh, university. Uh, now, uh, last week I left some tutorial <coughs> on a computer talk control and uh, then controller partitioning, com computer, uh, and then con uh, we went to the computer talk control. Computer talk is actually in was a dynamic <coughs> method, uh, p p uh, partition control scheme, or computer talk me method, they mean the same thing. And later, I left some, uh, some problem. Uh, do you still remember? Yeah, and these are the problem. And for the, for the question we discussed, you know, basically give you any system of this, and I can convert it into using this uh, computer talk method or controller partitioning method, the inverse dynamic method, I uh, can convert the system into unit math system or double integrated system, okay? 
and then I can one for this one. I know how to do the linear control works. Uh, so this is the beauty of it. And then you know, we do the system analysis, okay? And uh, then we come to further. Then I come to do some modifications. So commit talk method has introduced based on this model and start to do some uh, modifications. Then I add uh, uh, frictions, okay? And uh, or I change the B, you know, the input part, I change this one. Or I write, uh, actually for this two, I, in the lecture, I already discussed with you, okay? And I hope you'll be more observant, okay? I just let you be more observant, okay? And uh, then, then how about uh, this guy? I further change, you say it's for robots, do you really have a third order for robot? Yes, the math give you second order for each link. If you take into the motor dynamics, the circuitry, you don't eliminate it, and they actually give you another order. So at least three orders, okay? And if you say some, and then can we generalize to the nth order? Then you say, Sam, do you really have nth order for robot? Yes, I say yes. <laughs> okay. And then for the robotic link, you know, it's getting longer and a flex soft robot or flexible link robot, the order, it really depends on how much you want to push. Okay, you can go to fifth, tenth, okay. When I was at Imperial College, I was studying in the mechanical engineering, and uh, my neighbor is doing the combustion, computation, computational fluid dynamics for uh, BMW, okay, and in the combustion chamber. And this was uh, really the order of the dynamics that can really go to 100. And when I was doing my postdoc fellows at uh, Leicester University, I was working with Lucas Aerospace, Ross Russian engine. And then the engine also a hundredth order. Okay. Okay. And then for this one, it's easy. So standard, this standard, okay? You let tau equals alpha u plus beta. And then your whole purpose is to you substitute into the, you, you make sure q double dot equals u. And then in order for you to achieve that, you need alpha equals d. Beta equals the whole lot, and then you obtain the, for you obtain the q double dot equals u, and then when you let choose u equal this, you allow error this error equals q d minus q, and then this is the the uh, error equation, and then error equation for this once you come to second order, you know. Everybody in a group know how to do it. You become expert already. And then for first order, second order, we all know the performance, okay? Do you follow me? We all know the performance. That's why for higher order systems, usually we either approximate using lower order dynamics, or we actually uh, uh, to reduce to a second order, to arrange such that because the second order, I really know the performance. But for higher orders, really, you really don't know what to go, the unexpected behaviors, and then you either do experimentation or simulation to find more, okay? And then, for, how about for this one? DCG plus equals B tau. B is non-singular, uh, no. And then for this one, the standard one, is uh, the, your both sides you compute times the B inverse. And then uh, after you did this, then you do the standard way. You write tau equals alpha u plus beta, q double dot equals u. And then you found this for this one, alpha would be B inverse D, beta would be B inverse uh, C plus D. This is, uh, the rest is the same, okay? And then, is there any other way? My answer is yes, I believe some of your, oh, would be imagined so, okay? And then you can say, 
you write tau one equals b tau equals alpha u plus beta. And then you still can achieve q double dot equals u. So here you still have, you actually take the whole lot, b tau as tau one. You design tau one. So you have alpha, beta still the same, okay? Then you, you actually has this, uh, uh, then you found the q u, u equals uh, still the same as uh, the earlier one, and then you get your error dynamics. This still works, and uh, then then this one of because of the earlier definition, because your earlier definition here. And then your actual, this is your, uh, may, uh, because of this definition, then you can have tau equals b inverse tau one, okay? And then tau one is given already alpha u plus the beta. u is also given here. And then your actual control is the whole lot, okay? And this is another method. But uh, fundamentally, because of the same question, and you, you change it just for your computation, the end result remains the same, OK? You, if you do this way, you find your result is the same as this, OK? It's just the way you arrange it, your logical reasoning. I think ChatGPT is come up the school education would be changing <laughs> dramatically. The children would not be asked to mem memorize a lot of stuff anymore. You would be learning how to check whether this chap GB give you the result correct or wrong. So you would be the, do the reasoning, OK? And many people are scared by chat GPT <laughs> to steal their jobs. I actually. I'm not afraid. Actually, the guy bring more jobs to us, OK? And uh, the inside, uh, inside the zone is uh, finite. Outside of the site, compact site, is infinity. So anything brings in and actually brings more opportunity, OK? OK, good. So that's why now this. Uh, all my students come to me, I push them for multidisciplinary research. And they got, a, when they first talked to me, the discipline only this so narrow. And then when I push them to more, they, 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 they have more problem <laughs> they to solve. Once they have more problem to solve, I start to teach it, then you don't solve any quick problem. You start to, if you have three or five, you only pick the interesting, challenging, good one to solve, OK? OK, good. So this is uh, this question. And uh, then for this, it's uh, too simple. And for this one, what do you do? You still do the same. Now, except the order x is uh, uh, to the order of 3. You don't do this. I saw some students. Uh, when this x, x1, x double dot, they write x triple dot, OK? <laughs> don't do this, OK? And <laughs> you, you don't do that, OK? You write x starts to the sec third one, OK? You do this, OK? And um, so if the uh, chat GPT give you this, you may, because he learned from the examples, right? So, and then you don't, you know this, we start to change this one, okay? So, tau equals alpha u plus beta, x to third order, alpha equals this, beta equals this, and then you have, uh, you follow the same pattern, you can have u equals xd to the third order, and then k, a, v, p, and then the proportional, okay, viscous, and this I take it like a corresponding to acceleration. And uh, then with the error equals xd minus x, so the closed loop this, OK? For stability of this, I also shared with you earlier for the single link robot. 
where I said uh, the, when you include integ integral control, right? PID, how do you do the stability analysis? So therefore, for this one, you know how to do the stability analysis, okay? And then, when we generalize the committed talk method to the nth order, and then we assume the system model is shown like this. So M is a function of the whole system state. And uh, the Xn, yeah, I have uh, also many staff working with me, okay? And they got their PhD already, professors, or social professor. And then I start to find that they, when they got a problem, they only see some I'm a PhD. I only interested in my work in my PhD topic. And then because they, they all professor need to get funding, right? And in the social perfect assistant perfect, I found uh, they said Sam, I difficult to get funding. I said no, 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 no. You have a so big training, bachelor, master, all your knowledge together, okay? And then with your ability, you can definitely get funding. So uh, the, the, after the half a year training, wow, those people get a lot of funding. <laughs> Earlier, they really for this PhD, and then, so that's why I put it here. So all your X. For your knowledge, for this M, could it be a function of M or the first or lower order derivatives, okay? So this is your, this M. The F, the same, is a function of uh, lower order dynamics, your knowledge. And uh, then you do the same. You, you could have the forward part, the feedback part, and then you have this. For this one, how to arrange it to stability, I think you can use my lab, okay, for the health order. A lot of other tools or you can check, use, okay? And then for this, I will share with you, understand the idea of compute talk method control, and know the advantage and disadvantage of uh, CTC, okay? Be able to apply. So, so far so good, okay? So this is a tutorial, right? Then you can, and then for this one, except I give you the uh, theory, in order for you really to know how, which method, how this method works, is it so good? Uh, you really understand it for the project Jadong and I uh, uh, sent to you, and then you make the corresponding numericals do simulation, okay? You change the values. For example, the KV, you can say, for example, 10, KP, 25. And then you do simulation. You get the response. And then you say, Sam, how about I put, uh, this is a 10, this is a uh, five. And then you see, no, no, how about I choose this, this is a 1,000, this is 100. Then you start to know what KP means, what KV means and then you really understand control, uh, the real world, okay? Here is a guideline, theory only, okay? Follow me? Okay. The Jadong and I uh, uh, discussed the project. Uh, do you like the fish thing? Have you looked at the project? You should, right? So the fish is in it, and we cut it into there, and it can, so you can think all this can be applied, okay? But we also simplify for you. And then, so the, we have done the, we have done the fundamentals, single joint, compute talk, Leopold stability. Now come to adaptive control. In the, um, deep learning, or the uh, uh, GPT, okay, generative uh, pre-training, uh, uh, okay. This actually, all in the control community, we call it uh, offline training. <coughs> and uh, offline training and uh, online training is adaptation, adaptive control. Online training is adaptive control. And uh, then, uh, 
Online training is uh, adapt control. So nowadays, uh, I think uh, the, this uh, ChatGPT, all this community start because I have a friend in the um, school computing, and they start to see they need to do to adaptation, self-organization. I'm also doing switch control, switching for security, okay? Adaptive control, switching control, robust control, and recently I submitted a research proposal competition actually for AI is a stable, robust, and secure AI, okay? And only uh, the control people come into big play now, okay? So, okay. And I give you for adaptive control, I give you introduction, adaptive control by slow chain delay, uh, adaptive neural control of robots, and recently actually by me, okay, for this part. This is a general application. In the discussion of a computer talk control, it was noted that often the parameter of interest are not known exactly. Okay, when the parameter in the model do not match the parameter of the actual system, several error exist. And uh, then this error could be used to drive some adaptation scheme which adapt to update the values of the model parameter until the error disappears. And um, I'm teaching, how many of you attend my uh, intelligent autonomous robotic system? Any of you? No? You don't take that course? You prefer this course? <laughs> okay. In my intelligent uh, autonomous robotic system, I do share it with them. Uh, I said uh, in control, uh, actually for human being, you initially you try an error. Gradually, you start to do kind of PID control, and then neural control, and then fuzzy control, and uh, training. You, you initially you stand up the you work, nowadays you're very well trained already for running and uh, okay walking. You walk, uh, you look at the toddlers. When they first stand up to walk, it's not steady. They fall often, okay. And then they, they fall often. Uh, some kids fall, and suffer. some kids follow the wall, some kids, the children learn the walking, all different patterns, okay? You all forgot, okay? You all forgot how many falls you, you have done. So those are actually, you are doing adaptation, also online tuning already. And uh, now I think this example you understand. Uh, if uh, the suppose you thought it's full of water, actually it's empty. When you you you, you thought it's uh, 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 full of water, then you do certain force, and then the, you would move very quickly. And you then you sense it's not that heavy. You quickly adjust, reduce your force. Do you follow me? This is already adaptation. When you sense that error. And you quickly adapt. Okay, this is a good idea. So a lot of stuff, even though the machines are weak, for fuzzy control, you know, you, uh, if you take, uh, you learn drive, driving, the instructors say, drive slow and steady. Everyone knows how to drive slow and steady. But you program the computer to, to do it slow and steady, you need a lot of <laughs> effort to teach the uh, the computer, okay? But nowadays, I think with so much algorithm available, this uh, uh, generative, you know, content would be coming. A lot of software is available. And then so I think uh, the programming, a lot of stuff would become easier, okay? And then so the adaptation. Uh, so this is until the error disappeared. And uh, then, so this is uh, actually basically this robot. Uh, this is the model-based control. You know, I thought this is, uh, I, yeah, even though when I adapt to this uh, grasp of this bottle, I know the, uh, if full, how much it would be. If empty, how much. So when I adjust, I don't out of the range, okay? But if you really want to play with your friend, inside could be, for example, offset, looks like a, a bottle, but then it could be paper made, okay? And it's not, and then it collapse. Or could be steel, okay? And then your friend, ooh, 
so strong. And in my room, I have a st uh, steel, because I got some uh, award, they gave me a very uh, heavy one. Uh, and my, some of my students want to try, I said, heavy, hold strong. <laughs> and then initially thought very, very light. So your, your understanding of the model. So here is your model. And then when you found that, then see this is the desired, you have this area. Then this area, you invent some scheme, method, okay, to adapt it such that make sure the area is uh, zero. Just like uh, when I'm teaching you something, and then you learned how to write, how to do derivation, then I give you a project for you to do it, you really understand, oh, yes, I know what's going on now, okay? So I also try to reduce the error, uh, your, uh, my expectation, and then you really do it, then error is equal zero, perfect, they give you distinction, right? Okay, good. And then, for this one, uh, this is floating on the lead. Uh, earlier I shared with you, okay? And uh, then QD, uh, QD dot, QD double dot be the position velocity of acceleration is the desired trajectory. And E equals E D minus, uh, E equals QD minus Q be the tracking error. And R equals E dot plus lambda E and lambda larger than zero. So this need uh, no, not no notations. Uh, this QD, this error I introduced earlier, you should have seen it many times already, not, not anything new. And then something, the thing new is this guy, R equals E dot plus lambda E. I introduced, this is new. And then for this one is new, you, see, you can just say some, that's a compounding error or a filter, where we call it, okay, I use tra tra uh, the reference, uh, okay, signal. You can take the reference signal. You know, when you, I, for us, our brain is nonlinear. We have this neural node, right? And then so many students, you start to see, if I give you numbers, I would have lost easily. But if I know your name, and what you do, the more I know you, the more I would remember you. Do you follow me? So this also, we give it a name, okay? This is the tracking error. This can be a reference signal. And then, so you can also give yourself, help your brain to go through, okay? The more connection, yeah, with this, I want to, so if you are strong, healthy, you don't overwork, my students, when they are working with me, I don't allow them to work late at night or after 12, okay, of the night, because when they are working so hard, I bar them from working late in the city, okay? And then so, if you are, don't overwork, and then your brain can remember almost everything, okay? Do you follow me? Once you over, your battery is not enough, you would, sorry, you cannot remember anymore, okay? Okay, good. Then we know that this reference signal, if a reference signal goes to zero, now I know E, e dot goes to zero, as T goes to infinity, okay? And then for this one, you say, Sam, how can you see it? Then all you need, you write the signal into the filtered form. E actually equals, you, this is a, You can also, this is the computer, <laughs> only the first PowerPoint I can do. The second PowerPoint, you don't, don't allow me to, to I don't, <laughs> this is computer. Yeah, I already tried this. Oh, no, there's a delay. Oh, there's a delay. So lambda E, okay, and then equals uh, S plus lambda. E, and then so you have what can E equals this. When this is, a, you can see it's low pass filter. A low pass filter, if R equals zero, then E definitely equals zero, right? If uh, and each derivative also equals zero, okay? Because it's low pass filter. 
It's so straightforward. And uh, another two signal after we define the R, and another signal is uh, QRD. QRD, one is uh, QD dot. Another one is the QR dot. QD dot is the desired trajectory. Desired trajectory. That's a D is a desired, okay? Desired trajectories. And the R is a reference trajectories. You know when you are you are full, for example, your your friend is driving ahead, you want to follow him. And you follow him, you you would not drive actually the same trajectory as uh, he did it. You, uh, for safety, you actually have a, a reference trajectory, okay? You keep a certain area, you also use his speed, his acceleration, so therefore, you would be following this QR dot and QR double dot. Do you follow me? When your friend is driving or riding a bicycle or running, you want to catch him, you don't catch, follow exactly his trajectory, okay? You actually follow a trajectory you designed, plus his area, then you could try to catch him. I think this explains this the idea. That's why I say, yeah, in a lot of, uh, nowadays, uh, computer so powerful, we can bring a lot of our human intelligence into the computers now, okay? So, um, uh, uh, in the old days, uh, some of the computer game I don't want to play because it was too slow. But nowadays, uh, it's difficult to beat him because he thinks very fast. You know? <laughs> and if he thinks very fast, he can be our helper. Okay? So then you can see uh, this is a reference. I give you all the, uh, all the physical understanding to it, right? Geometric understanding. Okay, then. This one we all understand. DCG, the linear inner parameter per side P, okay, non regressor, this is a true robotic vector, which is unknown. Um, this, I said the true robotic parameter, okay. Do you still remember, I said, uh, do you know the true weight of this? Designed, 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 estimated the true, okay, and then the true one we don't know, okay. Okay, good. And then if you accept this, then the girls don't quarrel with your boyfriend and say, you love me, why you don't know me? Now I explain to you, they really don't know you, okay? <laughs> okay, don't quarrel again then, okay. So let the P hat be the estimated value of P, the, the estimated. And then let DCG hat corresponding to the DCG respectively obtained by using this P hat as P. So therefore, I have a D hat, C hat, G hat equals Psi P hat. The Psi is non regressor. Okay? So this is no problem, right? All logical. And uh, then, then I define P delta equals p minus p hat. And then the derivative p delta dot would be the p is constant, I have minus p hat. And then subsequently, I have a, I change this uh, a v to qr double dot qr dot. This qr is my reference acceleration, reference velocity. So again, I have psi p, then psi p hat. So then I have, if I define d delta equals d minus d hat, then I have d delta, c delta, g delta equals percent p delta. This all understood, right? No problem, right? This guy minus this, this guy minus this, this guy minus this, so they are all equivalent. So I adjust this equation minus this equation, and I have this, okay? And then, now, the give you a problem. Actually, you can, I can write this one as a theory, okay? I can also write the theory, okay? And then, given a robot described by DCG, 
equals tau, show that the, uh, the closed loop system is stable if the control is given by tau equals d hat, c hat, g hat, k r, r is a reference signal, q r uh, double dot q r dot here, okay, corresponding to the acceleration and the velocity. And then the parameter adaptation algorithm is given this p hat dot equals gamma inverse Poisson transpose of q q dot q r dot q r double dot r. And uh, if I have this, then I have this conclusion. Then I have this conclusion. E, e dot convert to zero as t goes to infinity. I also guarantee my p hat a limit value is bounded. And then this actually, of course, I choose where here, okay? Go here. I, when I choose this guy, I need this to be the value, okay, with this, okay? With this one to be, I choose k larger than zero, and gamma uh, transpose gamma larger than zero. And how, this is a basically guideline. We, for actual robots, how much is k, how much gamma is you really need to do simulation or do experiment to find your magic one. Here, I only give you the guideline, okay? With the theory, at least you don't, you don't anyhow do it. At least you could know a direction, and all you choose k larger than zero. How uh, larger than zero? Ga gamma larger than zero. I know the system is stable, but for any performance, you need to choose. But I give you further guideline. In order in p hat is your adaptation. In order for the system to converge fast then you need uh, gamma inverse to be large. And then, that's, and then KR is, uh, can correspond to the robustness, reduce the error, okay? Okay, so the control law here, you can also write uh, for easy management, Poisson P hat plus KR, because this guy equals uh, uh, Poisson P, P height, okay? You can also write like this. Now, next one, we do this uh, stability analysis. Two steps, error equations and stability and using Lyapunov method. And uh, first step, error equation, closed loop error equation. You see DCG equals tau, the dynamics. And then Q double dot actually equals QR double dot minus R dot. Uh, do you still remember here? I said R here, right? Now, I, when I do R dot, I would have a E double dot, lambda E dot, and then QR uh, double dot, I have a QD lambda dot, and then you found actually this uh, QR double dot minus r dot equals qd. And then the same for this one, q equals qr dot minus r. And then all you need, you need to just bring this to substitute here, you can verify it, okay? And uh, I don't derive for you anymore, okay? You can double check. And then I open the bracket, I found Q, D, QR double dot, plus C, QR dot, plus G, and then I have a D, R dot, minus C, R. And then this guy, corresponding to Psi P. Here, I already had uh, this one, right? D, C, G, corresponding to Psi P. Here, so this guy equals Psi P. And this part is here. This is linear in the parameters, okay? Then, subsequently, I can write this equation and move this into the, uh, the other side of the equation. 
Okay, then I have uh, this uh, d r dot plus c r dot equals plus p. I move the tau into the, the other side. I have <coughs> minus tau. I obtain the, this error dynamic equation. This error dynamic equation not in terms of error e, but in terms of r as a composite error. The whole idea is uh, if I cannot solve the problem of that error equation, then I bring the guy to the higher level of abstraction. I solve it in the R dimension. R is a composite of uh, E and uh, E dot. So I have this error equation, okay? And then uh, substituting the control law, the control law tau equals d hat q r double dot plus this, and also said uh, percent p hat k r. Here I also said uh, here is uh, can also be written the percent p hat k r, and uh, then I substitute into this uh, this error equation. I got this uh, my closed loop error equation, d r c r plus k r, and uh, equals percent p delta. Because um, this uh, tau equal this, this minus tau, then minus kr, and then I move to the other side, become positive kr. Now I have a percent p tilde. P tilde, this area equation is uh, basically a composition of uh, tracking area E and high hidden in R, hidden in R, R equals E dot plus lambda E and also driven by this uh, parameter error. Earlier, when we were taught, earlier we were, we were taught when you, before, if you, have you ever take adaptive control before? Have you? So this is the first time you take adaptive control. So what you had learned earlier, basically, if I have an error, I reduce the error, right? But now, for adaptive control, you not only have a tracking error, you also have your model parameter error. So you have more errors. And I need to adjust my model errors, OK? Adapt my model errors, OK? So that's why you, you need to have two errors, OK? And then the second step, stability analysis of the closed loop error equation. For closed loop error equation, you look at it, it's a nonlinear system, right? For nonlinear system, I already said the linear uh, two is out. And then luckily, we have uh, this uh, Russian mathematician, again, <laughs> Ryo Punov. He gave us uh, one method, one good method. Before I introduced the uh, Ryo Punov method, I actually introduced the complete talk method, OK? That's very intuitive. You convert the whole thing into a linear one, I can also handle. And uh, then for this Ryo Punov method, and uh, then we uh, will, that's the method, how we do it like this. You choose V equals half R transpose dr. I, you, do you still remember I, when I introduced the uh, Leopold method for the uh, last lecture? Actually, actually, here is Q double dot, right? That was uh, the, uh, the, 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 the kinetic energy of the system. Okay, and, uh, uh, and that uh, we take the kinetic energy. And then here, this, uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, parameter error. I use gamma. And then you can take this one is uh, your, uh, I introduce this uh, type as a spring constant, spring uh, energy, potential energy before. For this one, you can take, take the artificial potential energy for the parameter error. Do you follow me? You basically take it as an energy, either true energy from the system or artificial energy of the error. Do you follow me? Hello, do you follow me? You are in the your mask. Follow me? Okay. We either use uh, true energy or artificial. 
And this is also a combination of artificial energy already, okay? Then why half is, a, uh, I showed you many times, it's quadratic, take half easy manipulation, okay? Therefore, this V is larger than zero, okay? And then the differentiation, next one is the differentiation. Differential V of T along the closed variable equation, we have uh, V dot equals uh, R transpose dr dot because you have uh, this uh, TOFs. I uh, have basically, I uh, have uh, this R, this R, so plus together, I uh, have uh, this. Okay, D is symmetric. I element a lot of uh, derivation. I put it here, okay? And then in the middle, is uh, you have uh, half R transpose D dot R. And also for this parameter, I have a P tilde transpose gamma P tilde dot, okay? And uh, for this, uh, no problem, right? Do you need me to write step by step? Yes or no? Ian, you are so close to me. Yes or no? Uh, you can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very interactive, yeah. yeah. For, okay. Then you, you do you still remember if I have a P, I use this one, okay? Uh, gamma, P, uh, theta. I do this portion. I do the derivative for this portion, okay? Derivative. And this one equals, I do the, actually, derivative of this guy, gamma, P, theta, okay? Plus, uh, I do the half p tilde gamma dot and p tilde, and then this I is half, okay, and then plus half p tilde gamma. You also got the transpose, and then p tilde dot. Is it correct? I do one by one, okay. This is really one by one. Okay, and then because gamma is a, a constant, is a constant, right? Then this equals zero, okay? And I don't need to write it. And then this guy, this guy, uh, this is scalar, is it this is scalar or vector or matrix? The whole lot. Scalar, yes. Actually, our V is a scalar, okay? <laughs> and then, so you, when I ask a whole lot, you don't need to compute a whole lot. <laughs> you look at the other thing, because your head is a scalar, okay? Yeah. And then you see the whole lot must be scalar. And if when you are doing programming, if you found it's not scalar, then ChatGPT is wrong, okay? Your programming is wrong. So ChatGPT would bring a lot of goodies I think some errors he can auto correct. There are some errors you need your help, okay? Okay, good. And then here, because this guy is a scalar, this guy is also a scalar, right? Then scalar got a beauty. Scalar's beauty, if I do its rotation, it equals itself, okay? And then I do the transformation. Can it equals itself, okay? So then I have, uh, when I do this is actually matrix, when I, when I do the transformation, this equals any A transpose, B transpose? So B transpose, A transpose, right? Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> so you, then you have to be very careful, okay? So when you do this, I do this, this becomes half, half P tilde gamma uh, transpose and P tilde dot transpose transpose. Do you follow me? This, then you have this uh, gamma transpose equals gamma, sorry, equals gamma. And then P transpose dot transpose transpose equals P tilde dot. And then you found that this guy actually equals this. Then they put together, 
become this. Okay? Okay? Yeah, you are happy now. <laughs> I see you. I make sure you are happy. You say, Sam, your job is to make me happy, okay? Okay. okay? And if, if you really say uh, some too rush, uh, you, you can also knock on my door. You say, Sam, I have a question, okay? okay? I'll talk to Jia Dong. Jia Dong is very helpful. I told you Jia Dong, actually, is not my student, okay? <laughs> he just wants to help me. <laughs> and Jia Dong actually did his bachelor in Taiwan, you know? Taiwan University, he is very experienced. Okay? <laughs> Uh, oh no, my master, master, bachelor in uh, Chongqing, and then PhD in Singapore. And then, the, then for this one, you wouldn't know already, right? For this one, you do the same process, okay? Here, you would have a D transpose equals D, okay? And then, big, here, one thing is good is uh, this correspond, this R dot equals zero, this D dot uh, left here, okay? Okay. Okay. I think. Uh, do you still remember? I, because there are so many information coming in. Uh, I'm so happy when I saw the student feedback. You can do it using mobile. You can do it on the go. Your learning pattern really needed to change. On the internet, I saw some old professors. They are older than me. Okay. They say nowadays young children um, complaining about you. Actually, I don't complain about you. I said that you, this guy is good, okay? They say the student don't have time to read a good book deep, okay? Um, I don't feel so. I do understand what he means, but we also have a limited time, okay? There are so many information going on. And then so we need to change our pattern of learning. Oh, sorry, my time. And uh, we change the pattern of learning. We do refreshment, okay? We do refreshment. I got 30 minutes for the break. And uh, so then you can, actually for my brain, I start to think like a fresh, okay? Dot, dot, D dot is my brain. I start to bling, 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 bling. I do the computing, okay? When I'm writing, I do like this. But you, you don't uh, mechanically turn your brain, okay? You take a picture, do, 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 come back. And then you found, uh, you can do the, get this uh, you, the result very fast. Do you follow me? I think you got it. You take uh, my derivation like a picture, do, 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 add together, so you put in post together, okay? On the other day, I had a one PhD student, he said, she is very hard working. She wants to work on something. I look at her eye, I said, your eye, tell me, that problem too complicated for you, don't work on it. <laughs> but she really wants to work on it. I would drive out, she followed me. And when we were talking, when, uh, at the corner ring, I saw her eye changed. I said, yeah, you're using this eye, you can do the problem. But when she was doing the, the flipping fraction, okay? Collapsing. Okay, good. With this kind of uh, fresh learning, you can really read a lot of information, okay? Okay, good. I should give you 30 minutes, I come back, okay? Have a break. And then we continue. Then you can, uh, if you don't go out, you can check the equations and talk to your father. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, uh, before the break, I was sharing with you your learning pattern because too much content. You the fresh, fresh. You can say it's correct, okay? This is just this is correct. And then when this kind of derivations, you uh, will become easier, okay? And when I was uh, walking with uh, uh, Wen Xin outside, after you have this ability, you also have the other ability must be like the laser beam, see through. So you can see, when I see this equation, I mean to know how to do derivation, okay? Do you follow me? I mean to know how to know, because I also have this image processing ability. 
Then I know, yes, crack, 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 crack. And then, if I do my derivation, but then because of my handwriting is slow, and then you know the uh, the fault, your examination, I give the examination paper is uh, quite uh, <laughs> straightforward. Do you follow me? Because you need to write, okay? But you think much faster, okay? Yeah, good. Uh, nowadays, uh, with uh, all the AI tools available, and then I think uh, if you are a speedy, fast thinker, with all those tools, you uh, uh, you can really more um, become much more productive. Okay. So before the uh, during the break, I hope you have checked. So this is the correct. This is the correct, right? And then. Anybody know why this? I discussed with you already, right? D dot to C is secure symmetric, and then this guy I add a zero, okay? Minus zero, and I open a bracket, so this guy canceled, I left with this, and then this guy, DRC, this, this actually, DR equals percent P delta minus KR. So I have minus KR plus percent P delta. And then open the bracket, I have this. And then when I see this, and then again, this is a scalar, right? This scalar, I do the transpose of self. I have percent delta transpose and percent transpose R equal this. So all I need is I uh, let the stuff in a bracket equal zero, then have uh, Poseidon delta de height dot equals minus uh, gamma inverse Poseidon transpose R. And this gives me Poseidon uh, P uh, height dot equals gamma inverse Poseidon transpose R. And uh, then you can see this is uh, exactly the adaptation algorithm. Okay, and uh, then, so this uh, adaptation algorithm, and indeed uh, this guy, I subject back, I guarantee this guy equals zero. So therefore, V dot leads me to minus R K, R transpose KR, this less than equals zero. And then so, most of the cases, when I say K, larger than zero, and I can say this guy is uh, already stable, okay? Already stable. And then some of you are doing a PhD, you want to be more precise, more rigorous, more direct, and uh, you shall outside doing the uh, calling. Actually, Wen Xing was with me. I was uh, uh, just now, when he was with me, I was talking to him. You, your eye, apart from your fresh knowledge, you need to have a laser beam, uh, you may uh, see through, and you need to be precise. Not I become better, better. You need to be very precise. This I share with you how to, how to be very precise. We, in terms of mathematics, okay, earlier, when I say we, we dot less than zero, this is stable. Here I show you mathematics, I show you very precise. We have T minus V dot equals integral minus R transpose KR D tau, okay? So here I do integration, integration. I have V of T minus V zero, right? Agree? Can you follow me? And then the, I do the integration. And then I rewrite the equation, I put this one onto the left, this one to the right, I have V0 minus V of T. And because V of T is larger than zero, so the both of them are positive, so this guy less than V of zero. This is okay? Yeah. Okay? 
even though you are doing a PhD, it's okay. Don't think uh, this is uh, you know, learning PhD. This must be some. It might be very, very difficult. I use a very simple um, mathematics because this uh, a b all larger than zero, and uh, then if uh, a minus b, okay. Huh? You got it? Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Yeah, because v of vt all larger than zero, and minus, uh, if a number minus, and v of t is also smaller than v of zero, okay? v of t also smaller than v of zero because this guy is decaying, okay? Decaying. So this, therefore this guy definitely less than v of zero. Don't make a fine doing the logical reasoning. So ChatGPT, mid journey, everything is come up very fancy. Don't be fooled by him, okay? And I think security really become an issue. <laughs> a lot of stuff generated are not relevant, all false, not true, okay? So you really need to be very solid with your reasoning, okay? To help the chat GPT, okay? Help the mid journey, help the alpha fold. And they also help us as well. So then, again, for this guy, you know the matrix, uh, you can have the eigenvalue, right? You can have the eigenvalue. Eigenvalue, then I take the minimum eigenvalue of K, and then I time the alpha transport R, this guy would be less than this uh, integral of uh, lambda transpose kr, the uh, r, r transpose kr d tau. This is agree? You know that k can be matrix. You learn the matrix theory? Do you learn the matrix theory? Have you learned? Yeah, there's a cost. <laughs> then, I, then I explain further. Um, K can be decomposed with lambda. Uh, how should I say? Another one is. Uh, uh, yeah, I can use the P, transpose P. Okay? Yeah. So a matrix can be re decompose this lambda is uh, the lambda uh, minimum and then also lambda's lambda maximum, okay? And you can see lambda one up to lambda n. And then this uh, kr, r, k, r equals r transpose p transpose lambda p transpose r. And then, uh, sorry, in this one not transpose, okay, p r. I can define, um, uh, define y equals p r, okay, and then you found uh, actually, actually you have uh, this uh, y transpose uh, lambda y. And then you can actually have this uh, lambda minimum. If I take uh, you, the, uh, this would be summation of the lambdas yi square, okay? And then I take the minimum and then blah, blah, you, you basically you would see this guy less than this, less than this. You got it? Actually, this is a unitary. You can also have another one is unitary transpose. Okay, do you still remember? Unitary, unitary, and then this will be unitary then. Okay, and but uh, uh, there is a course on matrix theory. I guess I'm not teaching matrix theory. I just show you here, show you the result. Do you follow me? 
So if you did not learn, and I just give you the result, okay? And you did not learn, anybody learned the matrix theory? In all this, I do have some people, you learned. Uh, you, yeah, linear algebra you also learned. Yeah. Linear algebra you learned, right? Yeah. Then you, you learned this. You, you've seen this? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Oh, funny. I see the matrix theory, linear algebra, they are not together, okay? Well, why I, um, I, I learned the matrix theory myself, I'm sorry, because <laughs> I am at the year three, I need to work with a PhD student for a project. And then my supervisor just asked me to do the project, and then I don't have the knowledge. And then so uh, he gave me the book, I read it myself, okay? And then so, then the, the, that's why I remember this. So then, but the linear algebra is there, okay? Okay, good. Then we have this now, agree? So this, I can, I think better I remove. Yeah. Now, so we have lambda mi, oops. Hey? There is, yeah. Then we have uh, from this guy is here, right? Then this guy, lambda minimum of k, I have this. Now, I both sides, I can divide it by lambda minimum. So I have this guy, this here, equals uh, less or equals v of zero divided by lambda minimum <coughs> K, this is the corresponding alpha. So this guy actually less than, than a constant, okay? So then alpha larger than zero, and then I know this guy, mathematically I know this guy would be this L2 uh, norm, L2 norm, okay? I, uh, this is in math now. Earlier, Leopold for this guy less than zero is uh, This is than zero, I can explain in physics, okay? Earlier it was in physics. Now it's a pure math. So this lambda belongs to L2 norm. And then L2 norm, you see, basically the idea is uh, undimensional. And then the integral of R, suppose like this, the integral r, t goes to infinity, this guy always bounded. I give you that just do some reasoning. I know so many, you do, especially chat GP, t comes, many mistakes, okay? We have to help him to do, to do reasoning. Suppose this r is a constant, a very small, epsilon, very small. Then I have a epsilon transpose epsilon. Then I do integration t. This goes to zero. And uh, then if t goes to infinity, do you think my integral would go to zero? Epsilon is very small. Integration go to infinity. Is my integration become a constant or go to infinity? Hello, my friend at the back, very right back. Is it go to infinity or zero? Sorry? Don't know? You see, no matter how small it is, when I do integration, it should become the, the area beneath, right? But if we go to infinity, the area beneath would become infinity. And uh, so, but then this guy, less than a constant, 
uh, cannot be. So this this cannot be a no matter how small it is, okay, a constant. So you can conclude uh, this R looks like a goes infinity if bounded by this. R must convert to zero, right? Yes. Are you sure? So far, so good. <laughs> so far, it's the same I support you. <laughs> this R goes to zero. From this reasoning, yes, it goes to zero. But being mathematics, you must be very, very sure, okay? That's why I ask you, are you sure? Actually, when I ask this, you see, yes, I'm sure, but I'm not that sure, okay? And then in Oh, it should be almost convert to zero. And then we eliminate those possibilities, okay? Not go to zero. And then I share with you this is the uh, I I erase the link. And then this are definitely convert to zero. But there are uh, Exceptional cases. This R, I could have a finite pulses. And my integration, this, you know, the pulses, when I do integration, the integration is equal to zero. Do you follow? Yeah, pulses. Being mathematical, they are very accurate, okay? You must, being mathematical, you must be very accurate. So those pulses, I should be. Eliminate them. So in the future, there might exist a finite number, finite number, not infinity, okay? Finite number of finite pulses. Then the, the R may, it's not going to zero. So how would we prove that it's not happening? Then we do this. Since we dot less than zero, we know this, right? Always decreasing. We know that V is bounded. Norm infinity bounded, okay, not goes to infinity. And uh, then we also know our P is uh, PR, so we also know that uh, P is also bounded because this guy is finite, right? You see, this is the initially start a constant. I know this is always smaller than this, larger than zero. So, so this guy is uh, bounded by this. And then because uh, V is a function of P, so therefore P is also bounded. R, I just show that uh, it's bounded by L2. And then K is also bounded. So then I look at this equation. P is bounded by this. K is bounded by this. R is bounded by this. And then these percent all bounded. Then I know my R dot is also bounded. If R dot is bounded, then R is uniformly continuous. So I do an integration, you know, R would be continuous. If R is continuous, just now I said uh, finite pulses will not be happening. You follow me now? So I can assure some R would definitely go to zero. You follow me? Looks like you lost. I lost you. I don't want to lose you. Are you following me now? You follow me. How about you? Yes. You t I lost you, right? So which part you don't quite get it? Any doubt? When I said, uh, maybe you are not so familiar with this notation, is it? L2, L at infinity, are you, you are not familiar with this notation, is it? Um, L2, the here is L2, L2 basically this definition. So is if R, the integral for R transpose to R is the for scalar you can see R square. 
for scalar. For matrix we write R transpose R. This guy less than or constant. This is the definition of R2. Okay? And then even though you see we create a lot of jargons to make our derivation or understanding easier. If everything we do from molecule items to make this building would be very difficult, okay? So we have a building blocks. Then we have this definition earlier I was sharing with you when I was doing the derivation of this. I said you do a picture. When I see this, I know what's related. When I see this, I know what is related, okay? So good. Now you're following me. And then when I see the R2, I know the R is uh, finite. When I say finite, it's okay. We don't blow up to infinity, okay? And then my actually L2 norm, this H infinite norm is its, its own value, not integral anymore. Its own value, it's a finite, okay? Measurable. You see the professors uh, being measured by citation, okay? And then I said, if you are measured by citation, that means you are not a giant. You are still <laughs> measurable, okay? You are still measurable, still uh, just a good uh, professor. Einstein, Newton, these people are giant. They are not measured by citations. Do you follow me? So these are still measurable, okay? So the professor is still measurable. These are still measurable. And then when R is bounded, that means that because R is a function of uh, E dot lambda E, E blah blah, okay? Then I wouldn't know E, uh, I wouldn't know, sorry. I would know my Q is also bounded, so everything here is bounded. Do you follow me now? Then I can create, because this, if everything is bounded, then I know this guy is bounded. Because the whole equation, okay? Now everything is, if I know the house is bounded, the chair is bounded, everybody inside must be bounded. Do you follow me? I think you got it now, okay? So in the, this is the equation. Right side is bounded, bounded number. Left side, all these are bound number. This guy must be bounded number, okay? You got it now. Good. Then if, when it's a bound number, uh, R is the integration, then if it's bounded, this would be continuous. Now, therefore, you have R, L2, this is also bounded. Then I eliminate the possibility for finite number of pulses. I can conclude R goes to zero now, right? Hello, friend. Can we conclude R goes to zero now? Maybe. Now you are so careful, so careful now. Now you can assure, Sam, I assure this definitely goes to zero. This is not maybe anymore. You will work. You were very bold earlier. Now you become too cautious, okay? <laughs> so I did the reasoning. So this is, uh, I know if you have this property, this guy would go to zero. Uh, and then, but maybe have some, uh, some pulses. But I know R is continuous, then I can guarantee if R goes, <coughs> R goes to zero as t goes to infinity. When this R goes to zero, I also know E dot goes to zero. Then this is a mathematical proof, okay? Last week, I was a kind of a physical proof. Yeah, uh, last week I was doing the proof of this. I use uh, this kind of 
physics. I did not use mathematics to, to do that kind of derivation, okay? I use a lot of physics. Follow me? I think the guy cannot get stuck, to, you know, go to the education. Here, I go purely mathematics to prove it, okay? In Xiang, you did not uh, hear I was talking that portion is very, very important, okay? You probably Wen Xing, you taught, teach her. Wen Xing, you teach her. Uh, what I said is very, very important, she missed. No, there are two approaches, and then so this is one way. This is a really goes to zero. Now, come to implementation. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, when I do the things, uh, uh, use a lot of mathematics to do the duration, and then I usually don't like to write building blocks, and then but the students really push me to write. So I also write this. The building blocks uh, at, uh, anybody use Simulink? Yeah, okay. The Simulink was a graphic design. My lab was programming. Simulink is uh, some layer built on top of my lab. Okay? But then Simulink, before Simulink, you should, you know analog computer? Do you know analog computer? Or OPAMs. You build up a circuit using operational amplifier. And then, so if you do that operational amplifier, you actually also have a, a circuit board. Yeah, for the ECE student, you do that. Circuit board, very much similar to this, okay? So then you have, then you, so this you have the building blocks. So this is a robot. This is adaptation scheme. You update the P hat. Okay, and uh, then this Psi multiply together, get Psi P. And then KR give you this. Uh, R, you have this uh, E, give you lambda E, and then this uh, QR, and you also have uh, QD and the lambda, QRD. So I built up this uh, building blocks in case you want to use Simulink to do it, okay? If you say, Sam, I don't like Simulink, I use the C, I use the Python, then you don't need to do this. You just immediately write the mathematical equation based on here. Okay? So that's why I initially, the, why I don't want to write this, the student pushed me to write it. And I understand that those students usually familiar with Simulink. And for those students not familiar with Simulink, then you can just use the Python code the equation, okay? Or C plus. Follow me? Oh, okay. Now, the advantage of the control, no need for acceleration feedback. Actual system parameters are not needed because you do adaptation. Uh, this one to require powerful computing facility. And this is actually when the robot becomes more complex and more complex, your computation, the uh, computer really needed, okay? And uh, then, next one. Uh, because neural network is so popular now. Not only so popular, it's so powerful now. And uh, then uh, I still uh, share with my dynamic NN based control. This is model based control, okay? And then NN control, we still know this is the robot dynamic parameters. And then I quickly go through this one, I would not read one by one, okay? We can do parallel comparison, okay? And then I, I'm impressed by, I really want to teach you as much as possible. <laughs> because outside the job, I really need, need to know that knowledge. At the same time, I don't want to confuse you as well. So if you have any problem in the duration, you can, if I uh, go through too fast, you can make an appointment with me, okay? I explain to you. Otherwise, you can ask me straight here. I would explain one by one, okay? Or Jia Dong can help me. Or Yi Yuan can also help me. Or other people can also help me, okay? We help each other. I know you are a good friend, right? You help each other, right? Okay. So then the same, I basically change all the D, C, G 
to my neural network uh, pattern. All the DCG are changed in neural networks, except I have a modern errors, okay? And then, the, this you all know I had a static neural network, dynamic neural network. Static neural network is, I mean, only a function of Q. And then dynamic neural, I mean, you need the information for Q dot. And then the control proposal would be D, C, G, hat. I propose KR. And then, I actually also, inter because of at that time, PID control. So I also add the integral there. And I also add a, a tolerant, a robust control term here. And I also have this neural network, this neural network, this neural network, this neural This is a standard control, you know, PI plus robust term. And then, this is closed closure error. This is how we W, uh, the error are defined, okay? Say W, D, Delta, and then the tau r, I use a kind of sliding mode, a uh, small one, to make it robust, okay? And then I have this theorem. If the parameter you update according to this algorithm, then the system E, E dot, is uh, goes to zero, T goes to infinity. All the closed loop are bounded. All this thing, Basically, what I said here, all the things are bounded. You know, they all convert to zero. And for this, except I changed here, I changed the control law to neural networks. I don't. These parameters have nothing to do with the physical model's parameter. Okay. And actually, when I write this paper, when I first write it, people was a system, it's a stupid, okay? I said, when I was a, at the Imperial College, I said, people doing neural network control, so, uh, those people don't know mathematics. And then I later I swallow, I take my word back. And then when I started working on this, many people say, Sam, the math is no good, okay? But nowadays, uh, everybody knows the neural network is a good tool. And then so, then the proof I would not uh, Go through it, okay? You can similarly go through, you can check my book. And then I give you another one, an example, uh, because uh, uh, Jatun gave you, pro the project we give you, even though I teach you robotic arm, you start to see the project give you uh, all real life modern, the currently you see the most advanced robotic research, okay, either cleaning robot or mobile robot or robot in the water, swimming robot, not submarine, okay, and can all what you learned can be used. I show you this example. What I learned for the robotics can also be real used for the gyro mirror system. The gyro mirror system is actually you have one axis, another axis. This third axis, I have no control. I just apply voltage, the guy turn at high speed, okay? High, very high speed. And then, so the Q3, I have no control. So I can only control Q1, Q2, okay? And this is the dynamic of line of sight. A flying wheel and a drive gimbal that provide to your freedom that flywheel can talk motor for slew and purpose. A mirror that's geared to the gimbal through a two to one reduction drive mechanism. And this is the mirror, mirror. And then this one can be used on the ship. No matter how the ship moves, I can always point into a certain direction, okay? And then I use my neural networks. So D, C, now, for the robot, I only taught you QQ dot. And here, got a, a Q extra. This Q3 is not uh, the standard, the, because I only have two axes, two control. Here, I have a third, third one. I don't have any control. I can also do that. This J have the 
third one, I have no control with it, okay? And then my control, I still modify according to this one, and then update this, this works. This is actually, I share with you, this is the general mirror system. I have an analog low pass filter, and then do the digital con ID conversion, and I found still too noisy, you know? The, the thing don't work. And uh, I had a, a brilliant <laughs> student <laughs> working with me, and then he was uh, fr uh, from, uh, I, I uh, better than, he was from top university. But when I asked him anything on the implementation, he told me everything is correct. I cannot say he's wrong. But the all textbook uh, answer, I said, what is the T? The clock, he said, uh, it's a T, the natural um, uh, variables, okay? The textbook said, okay, the natural variables. He cannot, he cannot tell me it's the clock for the, it's a time in the computer time, okay? So he, but anyway, I help him. He helped me. Eventually, we found actually analog computer, analog low pass field don't work. We found, uh, we added the digital low pass filter. And the signal getting better. And then we got a filtered uh, position. We also have filtered velocity, and then this uh, desired one, we get the controller, and then the system works. So this is actually the setup, okay? And this is the computer. I think it was a 386 or 286. Uh, too slow now, okay? You don't have it. In the history museum, you can find it, okay? And this is the, was the amplifier. And then we did the trajectory planning, PID control, this PID type, and we, this is the value we choose KP, KI. So for your project, if you really want to have some feeling, you need to give yourself a number, okay? And then do simulation. Uh, if you really know, uh, if you don't know how simulation uh, works, how troublesome or how enjoyable, you talk to Yuxiang. Yuxiang, you can say, hi, I know the computation burden. You want to say something? You know, GV has become so confident. See, I can ask GV say anything. You know, he can say that, yeah. right? GV, you, you do you do simulation a lot? Uh, yes. I do. Then you know this is important, right? To you understand the theory. The theories only give you a guideline. Okay, only give you again. I'm, you, I'm a equals f, the force, right? But then really how, how, you know, how much for this mass, how fast you, how much force you put in, you get a feeling you really need to do it, okay? GV did a lot of simulation, but still not as many as Yuxiang, okay? Right? Yuxiang? Yuxiang did a lot of simulation. In one of the paper, he did so many, I want to cut for her, and she said, no, 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 no. I spent so much time doing the simulation. You know, I, please don't cut it, okay? And then so, you need, now you understand the, this uh, important, okay? This PID, you see, the PID, I did the simulation, it's stable, but the error don't reduce. Can you see? The error don't reduce, okay? And then the control variation, the PID, okay, I got a pattern. When I do my adaptive RBF neural networks, this is how I choose my neural networks, okay? This Q1, Q2 in this range, velocity in this range, how I choose, the, choose them. Anybody use neural networks to do your work project? Anybody? No? You mean, no, you? I think it looks like you are neural networks. Uh, user ones. User ones. Yeah. Do you know that we are neural networks? Human beings are neural networks, okay? We are not, you know, we are doing a computer artificial neural networks. Human beings are, uh, 
neural network, neural network, biological neural networks, okay? Okay, real neural, new, real neural networks. Computer is a fake neural networks. Human beings are true neural networks, okay? Okay. Then this is how I did it. And then this are the gain I choose. And then you see my neural networks. They are a lot better, right? Happy with our neuron. But then the control become. <laughs> you see the PID, the control is very smooth because he don't care. You got an error, I don't care, right? I don't need to learn. But neural networks need to quickly update. As I said, when you see, whoa, boom, right? I need to quickly update, okay? And then, so this is the position tracking error. And then neural network, there are many. This is Gaussian. This is Gaussian neural networks. And this is the hardest multi quadratic neural networks. So this all works. And I, I have one uh, German friend, uh, uh, Guido Herman. Uh, he want to come to Singapore. And then I help him. And then we become friends. And then when he arrived in Singapore, and then he came to my office, he said, Sam, what are you doing? I said, I'm working. Well, he said, what are you doing? I said, me, your research. That's our, our language, OK? We cut short, all direct. I have a research fellow asked, how are you? He said, sign I said, no, 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 no. Uh, how are you? I mean, your research work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, keep talk, he thought I'm check, talking with uh, the British. How are you? I'm fine, you know? No, 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 no. I said, it looks like your English is not that good yet, OK? <laughs> and then I, I uh, then Jeremy, I said, I'm doing neural networks. What is neural network? I showed him. He said, really what? And then he borrowed my book. And one week later, he came to me, his office. Uh, very close to me, and then knock on my door. <laughs> the neural network I tried in my lab really works. <laughs> because initially, nobody believed neural network control would work. Because you, you see, we built based on the model, right? Very theoretic, theoretical Newton Euler formulation, everything good, beautiful, and you show me it works. But then suddenly, you see approximation in neural networks, and then you turn on the key. It works. And then he don't believe, right? He initially thought you are stupid, <laughs> as, I, I was, uh, as I was. And he came to me, something really works. Can, can I work with you? Oh, he was working at DSI. Do you know that I told you Singapore was uh, very good in uh, hard disk, right? In the 1990s, 60% computer hard disk was manufactured in Singapore worldwide. Not uh, only Asia, okay? Not only Singapore, 60% worldwide, okay? So that's why we have this data storage. He was working there. So he worked with me, implement neural network control for hard disk. You know, I'm a guy, I think you look at me, you wouldn't know I'm a guy, happy, jolly guy. If the theory works, I'm very happy to go for coffee or tea already, OK? But he pushed to the limit. He told me the neural network, he only need eight neurons would do a very good job. Eight neurons. That's what he told me. <laughs> he really pushed in the lab. Push, push, you know. He wrote a few papers with me. And then, so and then a tutorial, I give you this problem. OK, this is a robot. I give it to you. You can uh, substitute into different. Don't, probably we can give them numbers, right? You can write in a linear in a parameter. You design a depth of trajectory tracking based on the upon of second method. And actually, I showed you already here. Here, basically, you repeat this guy. Okay, you repeat this. You you repeat this guy. You, you repeat this portion. Okay. And then this is a tutorial. And uh, then I show you the solution a little bit already. You, go, you can follow that. Okay. I think I, uh, uh, do I, do I, maybe I finished off. 
uh, finish it off. And then, so the solution, you decompose the dynamic models into the equations. You open the bracket, you have two equations. Now, uh, I am not going to check uh, whether I did it correctly. You can double check whether I did it correctly. Then you write this guy, because you already defined P, right? M1 up to M5. Then you can fill up the Poseidon. So M1 here, Poseidon P uh, equals tau, right? And uh, then because of P1, M1 up to M5, then this M1 corresponding here. M2 got no, then you have zero. You can fill out Poseidon, right? Then, then I'm not going. I uh, don't need to read one by one. After I show you this, you can fill up. I give you the procedure how you do it. Okay. And uh, then design the control law. I share with you tall because percent p height kr. Then this is how we define all the variables. The tracking error, reference the error, and this is how we update the parameters. And then the stability analysis. This is the area equation, real point of analysis, and you do all the computing. You show that, okay? And this is basically the tutorial. And then the learning outcome for this, understand the principle design analysis of depth control, understand the principle design analysis of depth one control. And then so, but then, you know, the NA is for you to, for job hunting, okay? I will not test for you, okay? I will not test for you. But then nowadays, uh, if we don't talk about neural networks, I think, uh, especially we are true neuron, OK? I think i uh, stop here, be able to design the other control for multiple drawing robots, OK? And today, I'm supposed to finish uh, this uh, <laughs> three slides, uh, but I only finish uh, one slide, Jado. <laughs> I only finish it. And then uh, I still have next week, the other week, uh, two more weeks. I will see how, if I cannot finish, I uh, would only introduce the basic uh, idea, okay? Basic idea. And next week, uh, uh, or I quickly, did, uh, I, I would uh, uh, work with you in the force control. One degree force control, two degree force control, and impedance control, and uh, constraint motion control. Nowadays, the robot, uh, different form of the robot is really coming into our lives. And then those are basic idea, understand that you understand your networks, then you can bring a lot of work on, come. You know, ChatGPT only solve the, the professor. You don't need a professor to talk to you anymore in the future. I'm lucky I was born in 1963, okay? And so I think ChatGPT in five years cannot be better than I uh, know, cannot, I am still can be useful, okay? And then, but I will still keep learning, okay? I, keep, I will keep learning. Hopefully, uh, I still be useful after five years, okay? But the only other thing I want to say, ChatGPT only replace the people talks. But a lot of real work, working with robots, ChatGPT cannot, okay? So you must bring the ChatGPT talk to the real world. Okay, signs us. Okay, then I see you next week. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah.